Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. Um, for today's project, I am featuring the Daisy Delight stamp set. This is from our new catalog which launched last week on June the 1st. And if you open up your catalog to page 127, you'll see the two-page Daisy Delight spread. So this is a suite in our catalog. I love the suite of products. Um, you've got this photopolymer stamp set. So photopolymer stamps are the ones that are completely and totally see-through. So this is a photopolymer set. Um, you've got designer series paper that coordinates with this suite. Such pretty um, papers in this collection. Then you've also got the um, faceted gems, the gold and the silver that coordinate here. We have a coordinating punch. Um, the Daisy Delight, um, the Daisy Punch. Now this punch is on um, non-orderable status right now. It will be back in stock beginning June 26th. And once it's back in stock, the bundle will be available again. So you can get the, the punch and the stamp set together as a bundle, which is a 10% savings when you buy them together. So the bundle will be available again the 26th of June. 2017. Then we've also got this beautiful, um, what is this color again? Daffodil Delight. Um, this Daffodil Delight ribbon, it's stitched and you actually have two different patterns. You've got a kind of a cross stitch on one side and then you've got this dashed straight line stitch on the other side. Very pretty. So that's our Daisy Delight suite. But for today, we're actually just using the Daisy Delight stamp set. So today I'm going to share with you my team swap cards. Um, so on my team of Quita Bug Stampers, we are doing our very first team swap. This is our first time to do one together, so I'm so excited about it. Um, and six of my team members, including myself, par um, participated in the swap. So this is the card that I designed for the, um, the team swap. So I just wanted to share my card with you. It's quick and it's simple and it features some of our new ink colors. And I just really love how it turned out. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna do some embossing to get started and I'm using Berry Burst cardstock. This is one of our new 2017-19 ink colors. And this is cut down to three and a half inches, no, three and three quarters by five inches. So then what I've done for my embossing powder is I've taken our Whisper White Stampin' Emboss Powder and I have mixed it with our Dazzling Diamonds Glitter. So I don't know if you've ever seen this Dazzling Diamonds Glitter, but first of all, you get quite a bit in this little container, but it is just so pretty in person. I love this glitter. So I just mix that in with my Whisper White to make it kind of a sparkly Whisper White um, embossing powder. So I just used one of my old embellishment containers that um, I finished using the whatever was inside and I just poured a little bit of the Whisper White and then I added some of the glitter in there just mixed it up and now I've got this shimmery white embossing powder. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some scratch paper. I've got my cardstock here. I've got my Versamark ink pad, which is a sticky ink pad, which is used for embossing. I'm gonna use my embossing buddy down here just to kind of take away any static. And then I'm going to stamp the Your Thoughtfulness Brightened My Day sentiment. I'm just gonna ink that up. And then I wanna stamp this down here in the bottom right right about there okay and now we can just add that shimmery white embossing powder okay and I'm just gonna do a little bit more okay so you can see that little bit of sparkle in there so now I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Up! heat tool and I'm gonna put this on the second setting and I'm just going to heat this and once it turns kind of a shiny raised look, then it's finished. All right, so that's all nice and embossed, and I don't know if you can see that little bit of 
sparkle in there, but I love it. it, looks great. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got some designer series paper from the Eastern Palace designer series paper stack, and this is the lemon lime twist side of one of the patterns. I'm gonna go ahead and add this piece on, and this is cut at, let's see, two inches by three and three quarters. So I'm just gonna put that sort of across the center. Um, so this is a really simple card. You could always step this card up by adding some ribbon. I think it would be um, cute to add some of the Berry Burst finely woven ribbon across the center. Um, you could even emboss this top part maybe with the Petal Burst embossing folder. That would probably look really cute too. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and add this piece to our card base. So for the card base, this is Whisper White Thick cardstock, and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And I have all of these measurements over on today's coordinating blog post. The link is below the video in the description notes. All right, so that's ready. So now, um, for the sake of time, because I have like 30 minutes before I have to leave the house, I am going to Ikea tonight to get some furniture for my craft room. I'm kind of redoing things, so I'm excited. Um, I've gone ahead and run some Whisper White cardstock through my Big Shot, and I used the largest of the stitched circle framelits that's in the stitch-shaped uh, framelits. And we're going to stamp the um, daisy, the large daisy image in Berry Burst, and then we're also going to need Lemon Lime Twist. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink up. I love this image. Ink that up and stamp it right in the center. Right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Finished with the Berry Burst. And then in that Daisy Delight stamp set, there's this little speckled center um, for your flower. So I'm just going to ink that up and stamp that right in the middle. There we go. All right, so I've got my bone folder. I'm just gonna give my card a nice crease. And then we can take this layer and I'm just gonna add this on with dimensionals. And I think three will be enough. If you just put them kind of in a triangular shape, then it gives it enough coverage so that it doesn't sag. We'll just put this in the center, right about, right about there. Give it a press. And then to finish off this card, I'm just gonna add one of the small white perfect accents right here to the center. Let's see, let's move that over. Right there is perfect, okay? And that finishes up this quick and easy card. I love this card. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's quick and easy tutorial featuring some wonderful new product from our catalog, the Daisy Delight stamp set. Remember, the bundle will be back available in my online store beginning June the 26th, 2017. And if you'd like to purchase any of the other supplies that you saw me use today, just head on over to today's coordinating blog post. And I've also linked to the products down below the video in the description notes, but over on my blog, you'll also find all of the measurements for today's project as well. So thanks again for joining me and I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye now.